Glorious day to you, my friends. Kyotor anahaski itara. Welcome to day number 119 of being this blissful existence, illuminating and nurturing grace, the grace of our inner being, of our true self. Isonahatar isahaya atakara. Where for 144 days, we're going to be spending time with our inner being. And we're going to do it the easy way. We're going to breathe and we're going to chant. We're going to intentionally breathe and intentionally chant. The imagery they gave me at the beginning is we're spiraling up the great pyramid of the self to the edge of the matrix. We're going to poke our head through the hub of the Dharma Chakra. Use the eye of providence to gain a divine perspective on this reality. And since we're spiraling, we're using the golden spiral, and that's based on the Fibonacci sequence. In this 13-day segment, we're subtly dealing with Manipura, our solar plexus chakra, our sun, our fire, our pleasure, our joy, our intention, our willpower, nitura shanao katatara. Normally, with a mala, we chant 108 times. And during this 108 chanting, we're taking a symbolic and a metaphoric journey, spiraling in to our true self, unifying the one the sun, self, our sense of self, with our true self, zero, the moon, the heart, and eight, earth, manifestation, this realm of manifestation, our creation, the material world, the balance of them all, bringing them all together in our heart. And it is a symbolic journey. It's a metaphoric journey. It's also an intentional journey. Each chant and each breath that we take to chant allows the chant to work with us, allows the chant to break down these barriers of who we think we are. This sense of self, this sense of the sun, with this sun that's in our heart, Nitor Ashkanaho Tora Tateta. On day number 108, during the 21 day segment for Svadastana, where the self is established. This 21 days, we went on a symbolic journey of the fool's journey in tarot, as we embodied each of the different aspects of the major arcana in ourselves in our sense of self as we released all these ideas of who we think we are and embodied more of the energy and the being of our true self. And on day number 108, it was day number 19 of Svarastana, the sun card, where when we completed, we were being our true self, this joyous child living life from the heart with no preconceived notions of how life should be lived, just joyously from now on. And we're spending 144 days, 36 more days in our Lotus of Awareness so we can go through this reinforcement of letting go of all those ideas of who we are, letting go of all the habits and beliefs that no longer serve as we spend more time with our inner being, then we can. And during this 13-day segment, 13 in tarot is the death card, which means all the same things that we're doing here in Manipura, 
in while we're staying these extra 36 days in our lotus of awareness we're allowing our inner being to change our belief systems not through intention but today we're going to talk about engaging in the intention this is day number nine which is the hermit which represents going within and seeing this divine light inside without all the influences from everyone else. And this is day number 119. Kaskana ati takarata hetata. Interestingly, day number 119, if we cycle the fool's journey, the 21 cards besides the fool in the major arcana, we've gone through five cycles and there were 16 105. Oh, 14. We're at temperance. Perfect. So we accomplished this whole thing, this death of the ego, <clears throat> or the letting go of the beliefs that no longer serve. And that might be a good way of looking at it. They don't serve us any longer. We spend enough time with our inner being. We know this inherent joy. We know the intention of this, our inner being, the sankalpa of our inner being. But if we're going to create habits that reinforce our beliefs, we have to intentionally engage in those habits, both in the physical realm and in the spiritual realm. If we want to eat better, we need to start taking steps on eating better. We can tap into how we feel and how we want to feel when we eat and how we want to feel after, during the day, all those types of things. But if we take action on what kind of research do I need to do, or if it's, I'm going to start exercising, well, start now. And being consistent, which is why we're meditating every day to be consistent with it. Maybe tomorrow we'll talk more about us being this spiritual this quantum piston, this quantum rotary, we'll call it, because we talked about this uh, quantum piston earlier. I'll have to do research as to which day it was. But this rotary engine, this wankel engine, maybe we'll talk about that tomorrow. Being intentional, because that talks about being intentional spiritually intentional and physically intentional. When we engage in both this physicality with intention and the intention from our inner being with the ease, this joy and this satisfaction from our inner being, this attitude of temperance from our inner being, then this death of our beliefs that no longer work are easy because we're focused on the beliefs that we do have and are working. And so those beliefs that aren't working and no longer serve simply just go away because we're all full up on the beliefs of awesomeness. So the beliefs that no longer serve just go away because of shiny object syndrome you know let's look at that shiny object let's look at this shiny object so all the other things just go away it's the whole idea behind meditation behind chanting behind chanting for 144 days let's look at this shiny object let's spend time with this shiny object and so all those other shiny objects lose their luster and it's not because they lose all their luster, it's just a byproduct. This is so shiny. 
And once we understand that this is the shiny thing, the important shiny thing, then taking intention and focusing on it. I'm going to dedicate time during the day so that I can meditate, so that I can chant, so I can intentionally breathe, so I can intentionally chant and intentionally spend time with my inner being and then just let it shine. And then maybe we're going to engage in other intentional behavior. I'm now going to smile. Smiling is a byproduct of this embodying the inner being. And when we go out and we're smiling at other people, the best thing is when we're just in our joy and we don't care who sees it. Then when they see that, it's totally natural. And then it's just like, what does that person have? Yeah, I have. So, let's not take my word for it. Let us ask our inner being. So I invite you to relax. Whether you lie down, whether you sit, or whether you sit in seated meditation, it does not matter. Ease and comfort. Comfort and ease. Now let us focus our awareness on our breath. As we slowly begin to lengthen and deepen our breath. As we become aware of the sound of our breath, as we feel how it feels to breathe in. And we feel how it feels to breathe out. Breathing in the ease. And breathing out the ease. Breathing in the comfort. Breathing out the comfort. Breathing in the prana. simply shining out our light. Breathing in, <clears throat> breathing in the life force energy and simply shining out our light. Now let us focus our awareness on our heart center. For in, for in our heart center is the home of our holy fire, the home of our Holy Spirit, the home of our Brahma Vihara. In all these are the source of our bright light. And every breath that we take with intention fans the flames of our holy fire, spreads the peace of our Holy Spirit, which creates the space 
for our bright light. Intentionally switching to Sama Vritti Pranayama, box breath. Breathing in the prana. Sitting with the prana in our heart. Simply shining out our light. And sitting in the emptiness. Breathing in the prana. Sitting with the prana in the heart center. Simply shining out our light. And sitting in the emptiness. Breathing in the chants, breathing in Om. Sitting with the Mani, shining our jewel. Breathing out, shining our light, unfolding our Padme. Sitting in our true nature, the emptiness, the home. Breathing in the Om. Sitting with the awe in the heart. Shining out our light, the home. Sitting in the emptiness. Breathing in the Om with the soul. Sitting with the awe in the heart. Shining out our light to whom. Sitting in the emptiness. And all these are just a reminder of the holy fire in the divine flow. As we take this temperance, this holy fire, our true self and our true nature. From the zero, reaching up into the one, into the sun, into the Om, into the highest source of consciousness. Our true self. And bringing back this holy fire, this true self. Unifying the one with the zero the sun with the moon, the highest source of consciousness with our heart, our true self, in our true nature. And then continuing this, grounding this energy effectively, taking this combined energy and reaching down into the eight, into the earth, to the manifested realm of what we created and what we observed and unifying all this energy upwards into the heart center unifying the one the zero and the eight unifying the sun the moon and the earth unifying the true self with the true nature with all of creation Continuing this divine flow, Chakanati Haryatara Arakahaya Asa Anatakaraha. And with intention, pushing out this energy, this idea, this unified energy, this unified self, 
out into every aspect of our awareness. In every way, in everywhere, in everyone. As we begin to chant, starting with Aum, which is simply Aum, stretched into its three sound components. Ah, for the heart. the savoring and embodying and the unification and then chanting Om Ah Om 108 times using the mala of joy and then transitioning with Aum A breath in for Aum. Aum. A breath in to chant.
Oh, my. 
in from spend time <clears throat> with our inner being spending time in our lotus of awareness in the emptiness in our true nature in the realm of the no mind Inviting in the wisdom of the chance of Om Mani Padme Hum. We are this jewel of the lotus. Om Ma Hum. We are this wisdom in the emptiness. Om So. We are that. We are that which we observe. We are that. We are the universe. <clears throat> we are everything. And with this wisdom, thus realizing, there is nothing to know. There is nothing to see. Let's just spend time in the emptiness, allowing awareness to be.
when you are ready. Let us thank our inner being. Let us thank ourselves for spending time with our inner being in the emptiness. As we continue to chant, <clears throat> transitioning with uh, Aying, which is simply aim to be each mantra of abundance, stretched into its three sound components. Ah, for the heart, E for the crown, and Ying for resonation with everything. And then chanting, So Hung, 36 times using the Ananda Chakra. Chanting with ease and joy and grace. And then concluding with Aying. A breath in for Aying. <clears throat> Aing. And a breath in to chant. So, so hung. So, so hung. 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 So.
breath in, frying. Aying. When you are ready, slowly bring awareness back to the here and now. Maybe invite in some gentle movements. <clears throat> and when you are ready, slowly open your eyes and welcome in the new now. Congratulations, my friends. We have completed Day number 119 of being this blissful existence, illuminating and nurturing grace, this grace of our true self, of our true nature. I encourage you to journal by writing down what comes up, what we experienced, Starting the flow, maybe we write down these things that we would like to improve in this physical life, the mindsets we'd like to improve. Write down, you know, improving relationships with people that trigger us or improving our mindset, improving the relationships between us and our manifestation, our expectations anything that we want to reinforce in our conscious mind, in our conscious world. What our inner being brings up, inner being brings up, allows us to gently tune our vibration and use intentional action as well. So I thank you, my friends, for being easy on me and yourselves thank you for sharing in my highest bliss and shine on from your inner being with your inner being as your inner being and make it a great day because why would you leave it up to anyone else? Okay, yeah? Anahata, rahata.